Hello and welcome to another video in the series where we focused on the Quantum VWAP Pro indicator and in particular looking at the five variants which come as standard in the package. In this case we are looking at the TWAP in detail and if you've watched the earlier videos then you'll know that our recommendation here is to use the TWAP with the VWAP. Absolutely critical uh, for the reasons I've explained. Now, in those videos, I showed you the TWAP on one side and the VWAP on the other, which, of course, does take up quite a bit of uh, screen space, particularly if you're using it in multiple time frames. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is here. And what I've done is to superimpose the TWAP on the VWAP. So we have two indicators on a single chart, and I'm using just one chart for clarity so you can see exactly what, what I'm doing here. So this is a very elegant and very simple solution to improving your um, real estate on your screen and using both indicators in the way that I've described in the earlier video. So how do we do it? Very simple, in fact. We click on the chart as always. We go into indicators. Just move this up a little bit here. Now, what you'll see is that down here, yes, we have the volume, but I have installed two versions of the VWAP. The first one here, you'll see over on the right hand side, is the standard VWAP. And I have all the um, upper and lower uh, uh, bounds ticked. So they are showing as filled. You can see here on these options, there are a lot of options here, I'll show you in a moment. The second version of the VWAP, I have selected the TWAP. And it really is as simple as that, because you can run two indicators on one chart. Now, in order to make it as clear as possible, what I've also done, as you can see, I've changed the uh, colors here. I've gone for indigo. And I've gone for a deep pick and I've gone for red here of the three. So the, the WAP color is the indigo, the upper bound color is the deep pink, and the lower bound color is the red. And I've got this ticked to show upper and low, lower boundaries, but I've not ticked the fill regions to keep it nice and simple. So I've taken those off. So we've got the fill regions enabled on the VWAP here, as you can see. But on the TWAP, I've got them disabled. And I've also gone down to the bottom here uh, into the setups for the various uh, aspects of the indicator. And I've changed to solid lines. And I've also gone to a much thicker line. And naturally, you can change these in any way you wish. So really, that's it. And as you can see, we now have the VWAP at the top here. This is our VWAP center line, and we have our upper and lower envelopes, which are very clear to see. And uh, this is on uh, Walmart on a five minute chart for the complete session as of yesterday. And then these three lines, we have our WAP for the TWAP. And again, we have our upper and lower boundaries. And as I explained in those videos, the upper and lower boundaries for the TWAP will be much tighter. Uh, than the upper and lower boundaries for the VWAP, because in the VWAP, we are looking at a volume-based approach. In the TWAP, we have distilled out price. We are, we, it, I, I explained it as a layer concept, if you will, where the VWAP is built up of layers. And what we've done is we've distilled out, we've removed one layer, which is price. And we are purely looking at price as far as the TWAP is concerned. Much tighter bands there, you can see, but again, the principles are exactly the same, moving out and above the band, looking at potentially an overpriced situation for the stock, and moving below the band as a potentially underpriced. And also in the same vein, where the outer, the upper and lower bands will act as support and resistance as the trend develops as well. And of course, at the bottom of the chart, we have volume, our traditional volume where we do our VPA analysis. So I wanted to bring this very elegant solution to you. I hope you'll adopt it. 
because it's a great way to maximize your screen space by superimposing one indicator on the other. We've got the TWAP superimposed on top of the VWAP, which is the best way to use the TWAP indicator and the only way we recommend. So I hope you've enjoyed this particular video. Lots more to come. So thanks for watching. See you soon and bye for now.